Hi, I'm Artist Synthesis, otherwise known as Mr. Pink, and if you, like me, got an email from Games Workshop today that looked like this, and you thought that was going to be a lictor, and that wasn't a lictor and you were pissed off, you've got the right video here, because I'm going to talk about where we can expect to see new Tyranids in the near future, based on what we've seen so far from Games Workshop. So join me as we gaze into the old. Alright, so what am I basing this on? Other than... Oh. Games Workshop has pretty much shown us their content schedule so far for new 40k. Though these are just predictions based on what we've already seen, and they could wholly be inaccurate this week, next week, anytime soon, I think that we can see a pattern in what we've seen so far for new 40k, and that it can tell us what to expect in the coming weeks. For example, Monday's preview, we've been getting a new model every Monday. I was pretty sure that was going to be a Space Marine. Sad to admit it, I wanted it to be a Tyranid, but I wasn't that shocked when it came out as the uh, Terminator Librarian. And the reason for that is because of the content schedule. If you're not familiar with content schedules, I work in digital communications. It's just a plan for when you're gonna put out content. It seems like Games Workshop is following a plan and that there is a pattern here. So let's jump right into it. First, let's start off with this calendar here showing you March, 2023 and April, 2023 when the new 40K stuff has been coming out. I'm gonna start with Adepticon. That's the, uh, the pink box there on the 22nd. That's when we saw the preview for new 40k and that's when content started rolling out from games workshop so the very next day we got our first chonky look at new 40k we got a bit of it on the 22nd it posted 23rd morning but on the 23rd is when we saw the post about the terminators the new models and the termigants new models so that's what that big green m is for that's just to indicate that this is a day that we saw new models and again that's the day when we saw the termigants and the ter and the terminators the next week following adepticon is kind of a mishmash of a bunch of different content from games workshop but if we look at that we had five days of new 40k content so on the 27th we had um the blue r's indicate rules the yellow l's indicate lore and of course the green m indicates models so on the 27th, we had a video kind of interview with a bunch of folks from the studio. We talked about the new rules that they're going to be using in 40K. That's why I put like an R with a little V there. Um, on the 28th, we had an article on what's happening in the codexes. So that's kind of like a rules thing. On the 29th, I said M in brackets because we saw more of the Terminators. This was when they talked about uh, Terminators through the ages. They gave us that kind of like retrospective look at what Terminators have been over the years. And then they showed us, I think that was when they showed us a little more of the actual Terminator squad, like with the teleport homer and all that stuff. On the 30th, we got more rules in the form of plan your army, which described how they break down the different kind of like unit types and the force makeup. And then on the Friday, the 31st, we got a, I'm calling it a lore video. It was the history of the Tyrannic Wars, which felt like lore to me. And that was Wade talking about it in video format. So that's our first week. Not much of a pattern to see there. Uh, yet, but once we get to the next week, you'll start to see a pattern emerge. So when we skip forward to uh, the week of the 3rd of April, this is where on the Monday, it was a little bit weird. We got a model and a rules post. So the model was the Phobos Lieutenant that is boring and shit as Space Marines are. Pretty cool that he had like some Tyranid trophies on there. Anyone who's familiar with my crew work knows that I love a good Tyranid trophy used as armor. So we got that Phobos Lieutenant. And then we got uh, details on data sheets. So that was the rules drop on the third. And then on the fourth, the rules drop was the Terminator stats. I don't know why Termigans didn't get a whole stats thing, but whatever. Space Marines. We didn't get any new 40k news on the Wednesday the 5th. On the Thursday the 6th, we got a lore video with Wade talking about how the 40k lore has moved forward. So that's why I put an L there with a V next to it, lore video. And then on the Friday the 7th, we got rules in the form of detachment rules. What we see here with the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and these what's posted on different days, this is where we start to see a pattern emerge. Because when we skip forward to last week, the week of April 10th, we see that on the Monday the 10th, of course, the most important news of the week, the most important news since the drop of the trailer, Von Ryan's Leapers. We got to see that new sexy Tyranid unit. So that's our model post. That's hence the green M. And then on the uh, Tuesday, the 11th, we got rules in the form of how characters work in 40K. Nothing on Wednesday. But then on the Thursday, we got rules for tanks and vehicles. And then on the Friday, uh, we got rules for weapons. This is where you start to see that pattern, that we get a new 40k post Monday and Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. We don't get anything on Wednesday. They don't do anything on the weekends. And they've done that for two weeks running. 
most of the posts are like rules related or that kind of stuff. Uh, we got that one lore video in there. I don't see a pattern for the, the lore yet, but I am starting to see a pattern for the models. So that's why when it came to the this week, the 17th, I expected that there was going to be a model, and indeed there was. We saw the preview for the Terminator Librarian, and then today, on the, the Tuesday, we saw the rules for Psychic Phase. And why I thought that it was going to be a Librarian is that, I don't know, I guess we hadn't seen the pattern yet, but from this week I'm drawing a pattern that first we saw the Phobos Lieutenant on April 3rd, the Monday, then we saw Tyranid on the Monday, the April 10th, with the Von Ryan's Leapers, then we go back to Space Marines to see the Terminator Librarian on the 17th, which means that um, as we look forward, though we're not sure what the rest of this week has to hold on the uh, the 20th and the 21st, it is the case that in that article that Games Workshop posted about the, like, the coming week in Warhammer, they often post little hints in there, like uh, in the one that they posted on April 9th, they said, we're going to be looking at a new Tyranid unit. So that was a hint for the Von Ryan's Leapers. And then on this, the one they posted on the 16th, they said, we're going to see a familiar face from the trailer, which was the librarian. And we're going to look at psychic uh, phase and we're going to look at transports. So either on the 20th or the 21st, we're probably going to see rules for transports. And then on the other day, maybe we're going to see some other rules thing. They didn't really, I don't think there's anything else they previewed. Maybe we're going to get another cool video, interview with someone, a uh, lore video, something like that. That'd be cool. And then when it goes to next week, of course, the week of the 24th, we don't know what's coming. But I would predict that if we look at the schedule so far for April, we've got a mod model on Monday, on the 3rd, the 10th, and the 17th, and we had a Space Marine on the 3rd, a Tyranid on the 10th, a Space Marine on the 17th, I'm predicting Tyranids on the 24th. And I'm actually predicting that this is going to be the Shrike, Tyranid Prime whatever Shrike thing, because they, they kind of threw me off when they showed the unit of Von Ryan's Leapers, but otherwise we've seen like Space Marine character, Space Marine character, we haven't seen any like larger units or anything like that. So I'm, I'm guessing that the 24th is going to be another one-off Tyranid model. So it could be that Norn Emissary, whatever, Maliceptrix, floaty, psychic ball of death thing. But I'm I'm guessing it's going to be the Prime, the standalone Prime. They're going to do like the, the Tyranid leader to go alongside the Space Marine leaders. But hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully we see another sweet unit like the Von Ryan's Leapers because that was really awesome. And then for the rest of the week, the 25th, 27th, 28th, I'm expecting that we'll see same kind of rule stuff. I don't know what rules they still have left to show us, but maybe like combat, like close combat or something like that. Movement, I guess they haven't really done anything on movement. Maybe there's weird stuff with movement that we got to cover. But the big thing, which is also kind of the wild card, is that following next week, of course, on Saturday, April 29th, that's when we have Warhammer Fest. And Games Workshop has already said that they're going to be doing a preview for new 40K at 9 a.m. on Saturday, April 29th. Lord Sky Mother, help me. <laughs> I want to be up for that. That's 4 a.m. in my time zone. Oh my god. So I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be watching that live. But uh yeah, so we're gonna have that on the 29th. And I assumed that at that point they're gonna be like, here you go, here's the whole box set. Because they're gonna have tables set up at Warhammer Fest so people can try 10th edition. Um, there's a whole section for it. They're starting it off with a, a preview at 9 a.m. I'm like, okay, this is it. We're gonna see the rest of the box, we're gonna see all the models. Until I was talking to High Fleet Moloch today, and he was saying, you know, I, I heard something somewhere that they're not going to show us the whole box at Warhammer Fest. I'm like, oh, damn it, Games Workshop, which would be unfortunate because we've, we've basically seen the contents of the box in the preview video, the trailer, whatever. That would be unfortunate if they didn't show us the contents of the box. That would be a kind of a, a dink move. But it is the case that that's on the 29th, Warhammer Fest. But we do know that as we look forward to May and June, that on June 24th, it's been reported that Games Workshop has told their staff they're not to take any holidays on that weekend, but they're going to be available, that there's something big coming on that Saturday. So people have thought that that's telegraphing, that the release for 10th edition of 40K is going to be Saturday, June 24th. When we look at that, and then we look back to schedule they've done so far, where they've got like the model on Monday, rules and rules and rules throughout the week. They've been posting four days of content for new 40k, and I honestly don't understand how they could show us a little something, like a tidbit at Warhammer Fest on the 29th, and then go forward to like meet out small amounts of the box set leading up to the 24th. It'd be kind of a dink move if they, they did that. If they're like, well, we're going to give you a little hint about what's in the box set at Warhammer Fest, but you got to wait for eight more weeks of content on Warhammer Community to really see what's in there. So I hope that's not the case, but it is the case that once Warhammer Fest passes, like 
if the release is on June 24th, as all the signs are pointing to, what are they going to do for content? between now and then have they already sent this out to like influencers and they've been painting it and stuff and they're going to post their stuff like in may and june or, or are they gonna as marco suggested hold contents from the box and continue to sprinkle them out through may and june so that they have a new model to show every week because if they stick to that schedule that they already had that's a model a, a monday we have one two three four five six seven eight mondays between Warhammer Fest and when uh, the new edition of 40k drops so they could keep doing that like Tyranid Space Marine, Tyranid Space Marine, Tyranid Space Marine and slowly show the contents of the box but then what are they going to show at Warhammer Fest? Anyway I really hope that next weekend on April 29th is going to be a big big blowout for all of us looking for new Tyranids that we're going to really sink our teeth into the different stuff in the box maybe they're going to show us quick previews of them and then they're going to be like don't worry, we'll do in-depth articles, and it's the in-depth articles that are coming out in May and June looking at the kits. I really hope that we get some good stuff on the 29th, but I'm going to be there watching it, so uh, we'll set up a live stream, a Xenos watch like we normally do. Very early in the morning, I will be dead tired, so we can all watch it together. Hopefully we get some really good stuff to see. No matter what happens on Saturday, April 29th, it's going to be one hot Tyranid summer. And in fact, I'm so excited about it being a hot bug summer that have gone and made this fancy sticker with help from Vlepkade on Instagram, an amazing illustrator. And I'm gonna be handing out the sticker to all of my patrons over on Patreon. What, you didn't know I had a Patreon? Yes, I've got a Patreon. And that helps me create videos like this. So all of my patrons are gonna be getting the sticker in the mail. Uh, it doesn't matter if you sponsor me for $1, $5, whatever, everyone's gonna get it. So if you're not already a patron, please head over to Patreon and make sure to sign up there. And then you can get one of these fancy stickers to be celebrating the hot bug summer. How great is that? If you're really hurting for new Tyranids, tune in this Friday where we're going to be doing a live stream with the Creature Conference. We're going to be reviewing Midvember, which was a contest we did, inspired by the Warhammer collectible card game uh, with those prompts, like the, the one I talked about in the Von Ryan's Leaper video. So it's going to be cool. We're going to look at a bunch of different Tyranids. Tune in on Friday at 4.45 p.m. Eastern Time or 9.45 Greenwich Mean Time. And we'll see you there. Bye!